Hello, I'm Ed Tuggle, a senior software engineer in IBM Software Group's Developer Skills Program. I'll be taking you through this demo, which is the first of a three-part demonstration to help you get started using the Rational Method Composer. In this demo, I'll start by showing you how to download a trial copy of RMC, then I'll give you a brief overview of what you'll do to create a new method configuration. By saying a method configuration, I may have already used two terms that are unfamiliar, but don't worry, I'll carefully define all the basic terms and concepts you'll need to get started. After we finish this part of the demo, parts two and three will step you through tailoring a new method configuration, so you'll see how the pieces fit together. When we're done, I think you'll find that Rational Method Composer is a very flexible tool that will help you define and document the roles, tasks, work products, and delivery processes in your organization. Notice I didn't say software delivery processes. It's true, that was the original intent of RMC, but the tool is flexible enough that you can apply it to any kind of process you may perform, even building furniture or delivering training seminars. So let's get started. Rational Method Composer is IBM Rational's next generation method tooling designed to supersede the current RUP Process Workbench and RUP Builder tools. It helps you define and publish a method that's usable and useful on your projects. It does this by supporting a broad range of project types and sizes from small to very large. It addresses enterprise needs and it allows you to build your method content in reusable packages or pieces and customize it as you go. RMC allows you to publish the method definition to a website where it can be easily accessed and used by all members of the team. Lastly, it bridges the gap between process and project management by integrating with your project management tools. You can export templates of your delivery processes from RMC and import them directly into either the Rational Portfolio Manager or Microsoft Project. As I mentioned, this is part one of a three-part series. So before we get down to tailoring a new method configuration, which we'll do in parts two and three, let's step through downloading a trial copy of RMC and review enough of the concepts to get us started. This is IBM's DeveloperWorks website. It's our primary portal with information for all developers. You can reach it at ibm.com slash developerworks. From the DeveloperWorks home page, Select Downloads on the right side of the page. This takes you to the Downloads page, where you can download trial use copies of most all of IBM Software Group's products. These trial copies are fully functional and will operate for 30 days to give you plenty of time to fully evaluate them. Now scroll down the page and select the Rational Method Composer version 7.2. This is the current version available at the time of this demo's recording. This brings you to the page for downloading RMC. Scroll down the page and click on the Download the Trial hotlink. There will only be one version available, so select the Multi-Platform version link. Scroll down the page if necessary. Select the checkbox for IBM Rational Method Composer version 7.2 Evaluation Multilingual Multiplatform. And then click Download Now. You will be downloading one large zip file, so make sure you are using the best bandwidth you have available. After the download completes, unzip the file and look for the setup instructions in the root directory, which will be in HTML format. You can bring these up in a browser for more details on the installation. The precise directions will depend on whether you're using Linux or Windows, so be sure to locate the correct version of the instructions. After installation is complete, you'll be ready to start. But before we do, let's now review some of the basics of using RMC. You use RMC to configure your method using the content and process definitions in the library, extending them with your own additions. Some have compared using RMC to writing a research paper. A library contains books. In the tool, the library has plugins containing the method content and process definitions 
usually used in a read-only fashion, just like books in a library. A research paper is based on a selection of books, sections in books, and additional content. In the tool, your selection of plugins and plugin content is called the configuration. The final product is the research paper. In the tool, the final output is the published web method website or the exported project template. Both are representations of the configuration. Like a research paper, the new tailored method may itself go into the library and become source material for future usage if it's constructed as a new plugin. As we just mentioned, you can produce two deliverables for your method. A published method website built using applets if Java 141 or later is installed, or built using only HTML if Java 141 or later is not available or desired. The other deliverable is an exported delivery process that can be imported as a project template into project and portfolio management tooling. Note that the process can be exported using the File Export Menu option in either a format understood by Rational Portfolio Manager or by Microsoft Project. The website and project template are independent and either one or both may be produced. A complete method is made up of content and process definitions. Method content describes the tasks, roles, work products, and guidelines that are used in and involved in completing the work. Processes, on the other hand, provide the order for doing work. They take the content previously defined and order it so that we can tell the sequence in which the steps involved in the process are completed. This diagram provides a graphical depiction of the method framework. There is method content, that is, work products, roles, tasks, and content categories. There are processes, capability patterns, and delivery processes and activities. There is guidance that can describe and thus be associated with uh, both method content and process content. The next several slides will each look at these terms in more detail and describe how they relate to the original RUP process workbench and RUP builder terms. This is a sample view of a method library. A library contains a set of method plugins and a set of configurations which are defined by selecting plugins or their content packages and processes. Notice in this example the method library contains three plugins and one configuration. Notice also not all the plugins contain content related to software delivery, and you can create method content for other types of processes as well. Even so, our focus in this demo will be on software delivery and how we can tailor the RUP method to our own team's processes. A plugin contains both method content and process definitions. Examples of plugins are RUP, COTS, or commercial off the shelf which can be built using RUP as the base. Within the RUP plugin here, you can see folders for both method content and processes. Within the method content folder, you can see subfolders for content packages, standard categories, and custom categories. And within the content packages folder, you can see individual content packages for subsections of the RUP method definition for architecture, assessment, design, guidance, and so forth. Within each of these packages, in turn, you would find roles, work products, and tasks defined for each section. 